Hi everyone, welcome to the final card in August card class which has been all about the Earthen Elegance Suite. I've loved making these cards with you all and I do hope you've enjoyed them from home as well. The final card is something that I actually made for my team mystery make and take for August and it is a flying seagull card design which if you can see that it looks like a seagull. It's all very fun and I thought these papers went really really nicely with it as well. It folds completely flat so you can pop it in a envelope and send it and it will it is the same just a bit smaller than a standard card here. Um, this card I think originated from Kylie Batucci in Australia and I've changed it a little bit so it fits with UK measurements. So let's make a start. You will need quite a few things for this and we're going to start with building the base of the card. So with this you will need two pieces that are exactly the same size and I will just refresh my memory with the measurements. These are 20.5 centimetres by 10.5 centimetres and we need to do a little bit of scoring. So we're going to score both pieces exactly the same. So we're going to start with five centimetres and then we're going to go to 10.5 centimetres and then 15 centimetres. Okay, pop that one there and do the same measurement on the other one. So I'll just repeat those. We have five centimetres. We have 10.5 centimetres. And we have 15 centimetres. So those are our measurements. Those pieces are exactly the same score. Now what we want to do is we want to turn them around and this is our largest panel here on the right so I'm just going to get this right now hang on this is where my brain goes into yes yeah, so this is our right hand panel and this is our left hand panel we need to turn it round so what we actually have is the smallest panel which is four and a half centimeters wide that needs to be the second one in there and on this side it needs to be the second one in here now it will make more sense once i've stuck the dsp on so what you have now is you have two pieces of dsp in one pattern and two in another now these two patterns in these two panels that are left they stay blank so go ahead and stick your DSP down. And it gives you just a nice little border of card showing around the edge as well. There we go. So those are our pieces. I'm gonna just give my score lines a really nice crease with my bone folder. And at the moment I've just creased them, but I will show you what we're gonna do with those shortly. Right, so the next thing we're going to do is we are going to then do this. So we're going to fold this piece back on itself, like so, and this piece back on itself, like so. Now I'm just going to put something heavy on the two ends. It just helps keep it in place. You're going to butt those up against each other like that and then you want to put your glue on this panel here and this panel okay 
Now you'll notice that you've got quite a gap. Oops. This side and this side. So what you're going to do is you're going to bring this piece in and you're going to line it up so it, oh, it's just moved. Line it back up again. You're going to line it up so that sits between in the gap. So let me just zoom in and hopefully you can see that. So you can see that's lined up just in there. So give that a nice press. I'll zoom back out. Oh, that was clever, wasn't it? And then you're going to pick it up and you'll see that those two lines are pushed up against each other. And then this is the clever bit. We're going to fold that in there and that in there. And that's where you've got your seagull. So give that all a really nice crease again. And that's it. So when it stands up, you get a really nice pattern. And it actually stands up lovely, like that. So now all we've got to do is decorate it. So I have a piece of the DSP. That's just gonna get stuck on. I then have this lovely square. Now this square has been cut from my favorite stylish shapes dies I don't know what I would do without those dies let's pop that on there and then we've got a little bit of decoration so I've got my bars I need to stamp of ours. I'm going to stamp with Misty Moonlight. And trim it around with my scissors just so I get that nice white outline. And then that one's going to go just underneath. Like so. I've got a leaf die cut. One. And then I have some twigs and then we have a fern. Now I'm going to leave this one attached there we go, so I just had to plug my phone in Creasing this all. So you can get an idea of what it looks like when it's all attached still. You will probably crease yours a lot better than I've creased mine. I'm just going to snip a bit of that off. And then this is just going to tuck in there. I have a little piece of white that says your thoughtfulness is much appreciated. And I'm going to stamp this in grey. I'm going to stamp it in grey granite. Now that's quite a lot smaller than my piece of card I've cut. I'm just going to trim that down. I 
and that's going to get stuck on there. I'm just going to put me a little dimensional under there and then a bit of glue this end. And that's it. That is our fifth and final card all done. I do hope that you have enjoyed making the cards as much as I have enjoyed putting them together for you. If you have any comments or questions on anything you'd like to ask, please get in touch. As always, do pop your thoughts and comments in the comments. I do look, keep an eye on those. And if you have if you wanted to purchase any of the products I've used in the, today's class, then you can do that over at my online store, which is stacymarsh.co.uk. I do hope you'll join me on September's class and details of that will come out at the beginning of September. So thanks again and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye for now.